Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Straight Outta Content brought to you by Flash Custom Transfer. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to press with an iron. You're seeing so many videos out there where it's like, oh, you need a heat press and you need this in order to make money and you need all this type of equipment and all, thing, all these things are super expensive. No, with our transfers, we have the highest quality transfers out there. All you need just to get started. Now, again, this isn't recommended for if you're gonna be doing huge jobs, you do not wanna do this with an iron. 100% we do not suggest it. We suggest the most basic heat press. And again, we have some links down in the description. We also have some on the website. And the ones that we suggest are like the around the $150, 15 by 15 Amazon heat presses. They'll do you just fine. If anything goes wrong with it, you can always send it back to Amazon and they'll send you a new one. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. If this is your first time hit that subscribe button. If this is your first time, this is actually made out of vinyl. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this video and uh, I'm gonna teach you guys how to press with an iron. All right guys, so yes, this right here, this is vinyl. We pressed this a long time ago, back when we were Flash Custom Designs. If you do not know, we are now currently Flash Custom Transfers and we are one of the largest manufacturers of DTF apparel transfers, which are these right here. Go ahead, show the camera. These buddies right here, these are our patch ones. You see, it looks like a patch, really beautiful. We got a bunch of different ones right here. It looks like a patch, look at that beautiful detail. Really looks like a patch. Um, this right here is called Apparel DTF. And we also are definitely the largest manufacturers of UV DTF. There's not too many people in the country doing uh, UV DTF gang sheets. And we also do sublimation gang sheets. So for all the people out there who think we don't like sublimation, we still do. Um, sublimation gang sheets. But in today's video, I just wanted to let everybody know that small things, even big things, but we're gonna do small in this uh, particular setting that you can, just to, get into the, uh, just to get into the business, if you have an iron, you can get into this business. I know there's a lot of people out there who are suggesting that you have to buy a lot of equipment. I'm seeing like a lot of screen print videos popping up all of a sudden, and people are asking you to pay to come to their studio and learn how to screen print. And then uh, we even, people here in Houston are doing it a lot. Uh, it's really random. I'm seeing it come across my timeline and Instagram, like all these classes popping up here in Houston about how to teach you how to screen print and stuff like that. And it's like, I know how much that whole operation costs. So in this real life situation, we are just here just to teach you guys like, hey, listen, you can go that route if you want to, if that's what you wanna do. But predominantly, most of the people out there, whenever they're entering this industry, they've got 50 to $100. This isn't 2020. Not everybody just got, you know, $10,000 from, you know, from the administration for COVID. No, you know, people are really struggling right now. And, you know, you know, two consecutive quarters is of a declining GDP equals recession. That's the definition of recession. And that's something that we are in right now. So we are here to be recession I'm not going to say proof because I think that's trademarked, but if you want to, you know, make some money through this recession, you can do it with flash custom transfers. And again, we help you design. So if you have any issues, we do have a graphic designing department, se uh, department separate from our transfer department and separate from our apparel making department, which we have as well. If you need a quote on, on a, a 24 up t-shirts, we can knock that out. And we also have embroidery as well. We're really a one-stop shop for all things related to crafting and, and, and custom apparel. But in today's video, I'm going to show you guys, yes, you can start with just a iron. So we will pick this right here. This shirt is really old. Chelly actually threw it away. So I said, babe, let me have it so I can start doing examples. We don't really do a lot of press examples. So this right here, this is a shirt that we have here. This is just raggedy old vinyl. It's gonna crack. If I would have peeled, like if I would have stretched this, look at that, it's already, let me get that good into the camera. Hold on, is this DTF or is this? That is layered. This uh, is la vinyl. layered vinyl, right? Yeah, that adds a lot of layers. Let me see. It's actually doing a pretty good job stretching. It's all wrinkly though. Yeah, all those thick. Oh yeah, look at like that. Oh, uh, all these colors are layered. Oh yeah, you had to layer the black and then dang, I'm. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at all that. You can see it coming up. So, but yeah, this is actually holding up. But again, these are layered vinyl and we made this such a long time. Look how it's wrinkling up. So I'm using this old t-shirt right here. Again, please hit that subscribe button to show you guys that you can use an iron with our product. And it doesn't have to be the, it doesn't have to be the patches even though these are just so cool. 
I just love pressing these. It doesn't have to be that. So I'm gonna show you guys an example of a non. And again, this is the exact same thing. And where's my other image? So these are the exact same things, except one was digitized to look like a patch, but they're the exact same thing on the back. And this is just what, this is what we can do at Flash Custom Transfers. This is, we can turn this into a patch or anything. And this is our Flash Graphics Department. So first thing you wanna do is heat up your iron. I like to turn off the, um, cause you don't want any moisture whenever you're pressing DTF. You do not want any moisture whenever you're pressing DTF. So I'm gonna do, again, we have a pillow, but I'm assuming that whoever's watching this, this is your first time doing this ever. And you're like, you know what? I just wanna try it. And again, we have DTF samples, regular DTF samples, $13. You'll get a sample, you can cut it out, you can press it if you want. If you like it from there, you can move forward with a gang sheet. Our gang sheets start at 19.99, that's it. Our gang sheets start at 19.99. Why are our gang sheets 19.99 plus shipping? The reason why they are is because we help you set up your gang sheet. Of course, we could do a $12 DTF gang sheet, a hundred percent. We 100% could do a $12 DTF gang sheet and be the cheapest on YouTube, be the cheapest in the country and just pump them out, pump them out, pump them out, pump them out. But that extra, the, the difference, the $8, the difference in that price is what we put into our price so that we can help you set up your gang sheet. If we were to just go down to $12, that means that we would set up our website automated. And then every time you came there, your gang sheet would already have to be set up, kind of like the other guys. There's a lot of other companies out there where your gang sheet already has to be set up. Your artwork has to be at 300 DPI. And if, if it is not, they will print it and send it to you just the way it is. We unfortunately do not do that because we understand that our customer base are brand new people, are people who aren't that experienced and people who need graphic design help. There's a lot of people out there stating that, oh yeah, you can get all these jobs and you don't have to know graphic design. No, 100%. If you want to get into this business, everybody out there who you get is going to ask you some simple type of graphic design question. And if you do not know how to do it, you are doing yourself a disservice. So, but just know that you have us out there. You could always, if somebody has a graphic design question, hey, how do I vector an image? Oh, that's easy. Just email me the image, right? You tell them that, boom, you email us, hey, Flash and Transfers, I got this job. Y'all know how to vector? Yeah, we got you. What do you need? Da, 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 da. Okay, you know, we might even just be like, here, just send it to us. It's easy. Boom, boom, here. Here's your thing. Go get that job. Even if you don't use us. We do that all the time. Uh, shout out. Hey, what was that guy's name that I went and dropped off his stuff last night? Aaron. Uh, shout out to Aaron. Shout out to Aaron. Last night, I drove far, far um, to go drop off a, a personal transfer uh, like personally handed it, uh, handed it to Mr. Aaron. Uh, the, the warehouse had a mistake. We fixed it. They, they gave it to us in time. We were actually supposed to meet today, but we were able to meet last night. It was like nine something. I get back to what, 10 o'clock, something like that last night. So shout out to Aaron, man. We appreciate the opportunity to fix our mistake. That's all that we ask is give us the opportunity. Mistakes are gonna happen. No business is perfect, but we truly appreciate Mr. Aaron out there, man. He actually ordered a lot. So I was like, I told him on the phone when he was talking to Chelly, I said, listen, hey man, I'll come and meet you because we apologize if any mistakes happen and it's our fault, we 100% accountable and we will bring it to you if you are in the local area. And it's just worth it, right? That, that guy, he's, it's, it's worth it uh, with that relationship. So just, those are just tips of things if you wanna get into this industry. But let's go ahead, let's get into pressing. I'm gonna, again, this is just a raggedy. Sure, I'll actually press, you know what? I'll do something cute on the sleeve. That's what I'll do. So this way, if Chelly still wants to wear it, I'll just do something cute on the sleeve. Wanna make sure that we're in camera shot here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to our second camera and we're gonna get this in here. And again, I'm gonna simulate that you don't have a pillow. Where's my pillow? I'm gonna simulate that you don't have one of these, which is a Teflon pillow. We're gonna start from the bare bones. All you have is an iron. 99% of people have an iron at home, whether or not it's big or small, or even one of these little irons. I'll put this in the description below. Uh, one of these irons, these actually cost more than this home Walmart iron right here. But we are going with the bare bones because I wanna do the most realistic situation possible, okay? I wanna do, hey, I'm just looking to get into this industry and I'm looking, cause everybody else is saying I need a $300 heat press. Everybody else is saying I need to buy uh, $2,000 worth of transfers and no, you do not need to. Remember the gang sheet that we have, DTF apparel, $19.99 plus shipping. If you're local, it's free and an iron and you can get started. And again, it's not just about pressing t-shirts and hoodies and all this other stuff. When, once you have a transfer, think about it, look at these. You can sell these two, three, four, five, $10 a pop. 
If you buy one gang sheet and you cut out, I think 35 of these little um, embroidered images, 35 of these little embroidered images fit on one gang sheet, you can cut these out. Even if we're doing $3 a pot, three, six, nine, uh, nine, 12, 15, right there, 18, 21. That's your money back right there, right there. And just and just this many transfers. And again, 30 something will fit on a gang sheet if you were to just sell them at $3 a pop. And people are always looking for cute little things like this to, to, to jazz up their, their, their merchandise and stuff like that. So with other people, you're just making t-shirts. With other businesses, they're just like, hey, just make the t-shirt, just make the t-shirt. Flash custom transfers, we're telling you to flip the transfer, sell the transfers for a profit, buy low from us, sell high to somebody else. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get some parchment paper. I'm gonna go get some regular parchment paper because chances are you have parchment paper at home. Chances are you don't have a Teflon sheet. Chances are you don't have one of these. But if you do, of course, if you do have one, if you do have a pillow, you're definitely gonna wanna use the pillow. And if you do have a Teflon sheet, use the Teflon sheet. But we're gonna go with old school parchment paper. I'll be right back. And anybody out there who's used to using parchment, I mean, who's used to doing sublimation, you guys are totally aware of parchment paper. Now again, make sure you're doing this on some type of surface that's like soft underneath. I don't want the iron to hit this because it will melt it. So. What I'm gonna do is, I thought I had another shirt, but that's fine. I'm just gonna fold this shirt and I'm gonna use the cloth underneath it. We're gonna, we're gonna line up our, sh our shoulder and I want it to be right here. So we're gonna fold, so this right here is the, the line, the crease. Use that crease, I'm gonna iron that crease. We're gonna take the iron, I'm gonna iron it like this. We're gonna create a crease. We have like a center point. Let's pull this a little more in the shot of the camera. So now we do have it like this. We're gonna open it up. And now we have the crease is our center. Barely see it, but you can see it. So now we know this line right here, one right here, guys, that's our center. So what can we do? I do something neutral. If I do something like this, that's definitely for the lady. You know what I mean? That's definitely for the ladies. Chelly can rock this out. If I do like an orange, that's kind of random. You know what I mean? But you know what? I guess I will do this one. This one's kind of cool. Take me away, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our transfer, we're gonna fold it in half because we wanna get a center point of the transfer this way, it's kinda even. So let's just fold it right about there. I think that's kinda half. Get a little, pinch it up at the top. Don't pinch it all the way down. You don't wanna crease the actual transfer. I'm gonna pinch it right there. That's kinda our center. And we're gonna line it up here best as we can. Again, this is on the sleeve, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Put it like that. Now, if you have any tape, if you have any heat tape, you can use it now. But again, I'm assuming you do not, I'm assuming you either ordered a sample from us or you actually ordered a gang sheet and you're like, hey, listen, I'm gonna just try it out. I got $25 to try it out. If it sucks, it sucks. If it's good, it's good, okay? Take out our parchment paper, place that down here. Now this does not need to be long. Please be careful when using any type of um, heat product. Again, we're using an iron. So we're gonna take the iron and we're just gonna place it on there for 11 seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, 10 Mississippi, 11 Mississippi, and I'll do 12, 12 Mississippi. Bang, bang, bang. All righty. Now again, you guys don't have the handy dandy fan like Chelly and I do. So you're gonna take something, you're gonna blow it off because with this heat press, I, I mean, with this heat press, with this iron, the, this film that we have, uh, definitely go check out a video. This is a cold or a hot peel, it's both. But it all depends on your press. If you have an automatic press like we have at the warehouse, we hot peel all day, bah, 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 bah. Here at the house, whenever we make videos and content, we have a regular Amazon press, which the temperature isn't you know, what it says on the dial. You know, it's a cheap press. And then, you know, we don't have a heat gun, so we just always cold peel just to be safe to make sure. So this is actually, not even on there, so it's it's not hot enough. So we're gonna leave it on there a little longer than what I did, so that adhesive can stick to the back. So let's try this again. Oh, my thing ain't even on. <laughs> turn your iron on, it ain't even on. <laughs> okay, so yeah, step one, turn your iron on. <laughs> the iron wasn't e no wonder, Carl, step one, turn your iron on. <laughs> Mad funny, we're gonna let that heat up a little bit, we're gonna Get our thing here, make sure it's lined up. And again, these are rookie mistakes that you might make. Again, we don't press with an iron, so of course I'm gonna make a mistake. But these are these are mistakes that you may make at home, right? You might forget to turn the iron on. Uh, our iron is one of those automatic ones, so it'll just turn off if you're not using it. So it's it's been heating up here, it doesn't take long. 
I actually have it on the highest setting, but I have the, uh, the steam off. Okay, so let's try this again. I'm gonna put the parchment paper back with our iron on this time. It's so funny. And we're gonna press hard. Oh crap, almost turned it off. I'm actually gonna stand up here. One, two, three, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, 10 Mississippi. 11 Mississippi, 12 Mississippi, and I'm pushing it a little hard. All righty, let's see what we have here. Peel our parchment paper. Oh yeah, that's in there now. Yeah, now it's in there. When you turn the iron on, it gets in there. So we're gonna fan this off, because like I said, we wanna keep this kind of cold. I mean, we wanna peel this cold, because we don't know what temperature our iron is at. And again, look at that detail. I'll definitely bring it up here. Oh, it's still super hot, so let's fan that off. It'll probably peel from here, but I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and cool. And a nice solid piece like this is gonna wanna peel really good. Dang, that's still hot. That iron got hot. Yeah, that's still super hot. Get all underneath it, and a little chilly tap. All right, we got our first peel. All right, so now let's put the parchment paper back. And now we want, to, we want to really seal it in there with that second press. So you can see it's kind of coming up there a little bit. Want to seal it in there, put that parchment paper back. And we want to do just six seconds, really hard pressure. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi. Push that in there, lift it off, and there we go. Look at that detail. There we go, guys. Look at that detail. It's actually in there. Let that cool off. That is in there. That's not going anywhere. But just look at the detail. Look at the detail of how it really looks like a patch. This is what our transfers can do. This is what our transfers can do, guys. You do not need a heat press to get started in this business. You can actually get started with and iron and you can do small prints and you can hook up people's jackets, their denim jackets. You can find a lot of ways to do it. And don't forget, we also have UV DTF, which allows you to print on hard surfaces. You know, inquire about that, but our apparel DTF is amazing. Look, it's already ready to be stretched because it's cooled. Comes right back. See? bounces right back. This is this is our DTF. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for this video. As you guys can see, I was able to press it. It looks amazing. That is on there. We kind of added a little swag to Chelly's to this old shirt. We added a cool patch to the side, DTF patch to the side. Again, I can stretch it, I can do whatever I want. That's not going anywhere. And I was able to do that with just an iron, a handy dandy iron. Make sure you turn it on, don't do like I did. But again, guys, please reach out to us. If you have any questions, order now at flashsystemtransfers.com. You like it, you wanna see it? Oh yeah. I heard you say you're gonna put some, I don't know, something pretty. Mm-hmm. Is this embroidery? Mm-hmm. It's an embroidery effect, yeah. Right? Oh, I think I did. I like it. Yeah, it looks perfect. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, all right, guys, if you have any questions, remember, you can always email us at orderoutflashcustomtransfers.com. Leave all the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and definitely check out all of our other content on the channel. Remember, here with Flash Custom Transfers, we print to help your business. We print to help your business grow. But if you're just starting out, do not think that you need a ton of equipment three, four, five, six hundred dollars worth of equipment. Maybe if you're going the screen printing route, but if you're going high quality DTF transfers, all you need is flash custom transfers and we can help you out. We're gonna help you out through the process all for free. We don't charge, we don't have master classes, we don't have any of that. We just give you the game, help you out. You contact us and we go out of our way to help you out. This way you can start your custom apparel business, which includes selling transfers, selling uh, UVDTF transfers, selling apparel, selling services. You're able to do windows and don't forget to check out all types of all the other videos that we have where we touch all different types of businesses. So you're not just limited to pressing t-shirts all day. All right, guys, be basic. We love you guys. Check out all the other content. Peace.